Hi, welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. Today's tutorial will be about using the Parity Signer app to create an account, restoring an account. We will also import an account on the Polkadot.js browser extension so that we can use it as an injected account in the Polkadot.js user interface. Parity Signer is a phone app that can be used as an air gapped wallet. This means that we can use it to create an account, but it's very important that the phone remains disconnected from the outside world. This means that we need to enable the airplane mode and we have to make sure that near field communication, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are deactivated from the phone. Using Parity Signer is far more secure than using a hot wallet that is on your browser, on your computer and any device that is connected to the internet. Remember that it's very important that the private key of your account remains offline. If a device is always connected to the internet and the private key is stored on that device, there is a potential risk that that private key can be stolen. And whoever has the private key can access your funds. With Parity Signer, since the account is generated on an air-gapped phone, the private key will always remain on that phone, will never be shared to the internet, as long as the phone is air-gapped. Before diving into today's tutorial, if you find these videos helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below, as this will help other people to find our content. And if there is something that we didn't cover yet and that you are interested in, drop us a message. Here we are on the Polkadot support page that explains you how to create an account in Parity Signer. You can find the link in the description below. Briefly, the page goes through all the steps that you have to take to install the app and uh, we will uh, do a demonstration right now. I will now switch to the phone. You can see here we just installed the app and uh, we are connected currently to the internet because you need access data in order to install the application. So in the first place the phone must be connected to the internet. We, we have a message, please enable airplane mode, turn off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connection and disconnect all cables. So we go and we enable airplane mode. We can see that now we can continue the installation process. Here we have uh, again a reminder about uh, using airplane mode and air gap our phone. Once we agree on the, the terms of service and the privacy policy, we can uh, tick the boxes and accept. And here we are inside the Parity Signer app. We don't have currently a secret seed phrase to restore a Parity Signer account. So what we do now, we will create a new account with a new seed. So we click on new seed. We can select an account name of uh, our choice. After we selected the account name, we can generate the seed phrase. Here we are presented with our seed phrase and uh, it is very important that now we store, we write down this seed phrase on a piece of paper and we store it somewhere safe that we only know. Do not screenshot your phone, do not take a picture of the seed phrase and uh, do not store the seed phrase on a device that uh, is connected to the internet as this is the only piece of information that you really have to care about. Nobody else except you must know this phrase because whoever has access to this information can uh, recreate your account and access all your funds. Once we have written down our seed phrase and we double check that it's right, we can uh, tick the box that I have written down my seed phrase and click next. The account now is created and uh, is on the Parity Signer app. We can check and we can select different um, networks. For example, we can uh, have it on Polkadot, on Kusama and West End. Now we will keep it on Polkadot. The Parity Signer app is not a wallet where you see the balance of your account and you can do transactions. It's just a mean of storing your account information in a secure way and uh, specifically a mean of storing your uh, private key so that you can use it with a system of QR code whenever you have to sign uh, for something. It is recommended to use an account that has been created with Parity Signer with the Polkadot browser extension so that it can be used as uh, an injected account within the Polkadot.js user interface. Now we will try to do so. In order to add 
an account that has been created with uh, Parity Signer on the browser extension, we have to go on the browser extension uh, logo and click it. And then we can click on the plus button here. And uh, we will see here we have an option to attach an external QR signer account. So we can click on that. Then what we should do is to go to the Parity Signer app. We can see here we have our signer account. We can click on it and uh, click again. And uh, we have a QR code that we can use to add this account on the browser extension. So we can present the QR code to um, the camera on uh, our computer. That's it. We can see that um, the browser extension now has recognized our account. We can add a name for this account. And after adding the name, we can add the account with the identified address. Our account is visible here and we can see the small QR code logo next to our account in order that we can um, recognize that this was an account that has been uh, imported into the browser extension using the Parity Signer app. Can be different from, for example, a Ledger account here where we see this USB logo, which means that this account has been imported from a hardware wallet uh, like the Ledger. What we can do now is to go to the Polkadot.js uh, user interface and we can see that our signer account has been added to the UI. So how can we restore an account that has been created with uh, Parity Signer? Well, when we first created the account, we stored our secret seed on a piece of paper somewhere. So we need to go and uh, grab that piece of paper and once we have it, we can uh, go on the Parity Signer app and uh, we can click instead of new seed, we can recover seed. We can choose an account name and then we can uh, actually insert the secret seed that we have in here. While we type the words of uh, the secret seed, we can see that uh, the Parity Signer is suggesting already the, the word. So we can actually click it and then uh, it displays the word in the upper part of the screen. And we can continue like this for all the other words of the seed phrase. Once we have written down the seed phrase, we can click on next. And here we go, we just restored our account. Remember to use the seed phrase that has been generated on Parity Signer only with Parity Signer because if you try to restore the account typing the seed phrase directly on the browser extension or the user interface, that information will, will be compromised. If your phone stopped of being air gapped even for a brief period of time, the Parity Signer app will tell you so. On the top right corner, you will see a shield with an exclamation mark that you can tap a message will appear saying that your signer device has been connected to the internet since you last acknowledged. So you can decide to go back or to acknowledge and reset. In this case, we will acknowledge and reset. You will now see the icon on the top uh, right is now a shield with a lock, which means that everything is fine. If you tap it, you can see signer is secure. Please proceed. I hope you learned something today about using Parity Signer to create an account, restore an account, and also adding an account on the browser extension. And uh, I see you in another video.